Well, hello there, space engineers. I didn't see you there. Uncle Jay here, and I am standing on the plan once again in special delivery. And uh, today, I think we're going to uh, build the HAP module or attempt to build a HAP module slash drop ship slash survival pod. So we'll, uh, it's going to obviously sit behind me and it's going to be detachable from the main ship. Um, so it's going to need connectors, merge blocks, its own hydrogen tank, life support. And, uh, and I think it's going to need a garage, <clears throat> excuse me, to hold a rover. I think, I think, I'm not sure. A little iffy on that. So maybe we should only build half the module, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. So let's, uh, let's get into it. And, uh, yeah. All right. I guess before we start, the best thing would to an update. I think an update is in order. So let's go to our to-do list. And as you can see, it's been shortened up a whole lot. As I got a whole bunch of stuff done. Cargo ship hangar, build a Bravo, obviously. Uh, we have three of eight jump drives right now. I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm really happy with that. Have landing craft built for Bravo, which we're going to do right now, and then obviously just travel. So, yes, the to do list is very short at the moment. And, uh, thought I would show. I need to find a better spot for that. That's my own um, Izzy script right there. But here is the ingots and ore module. As you can see, it's, uh, been armored up, tricked out. Uh, I've never been happy with this module, but it does its job. I might get rid of those. I don't know. Are they working? They're kind of working. I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> oh, man. Just had my coffee with some hot chocolate in it, and it's before 11 a.m. I know. I'm not used to being up this early. <sighs> Mr. Wellington, I blame you for this. I blame you for this collection of unknown signals. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep these. I, I like it, but uh, there's not enough ship for collecting unknown signals. All right, uh, we have our drop off point. See, there's some sorters on either side where um, all the ores and whatnot get sucked off or sucked into the ship, I should say. We have a little uh, little detailing here, a little, little greebling, trying to make the ship a little bit more homely, I guess, or structurally uh, sound while looking good. We have our <clears throat> defense turrets, and then I added all this in right here. I'm not crazy about these ladders here for greebling. I might change that, and then I don't know. I don't remember if I ever showed you guys this docking arm or not. I did this a while ago. And this I did recently. Lock. Swing her out. The camera there to help with, with docking. And this obviously is for hooking up to a uh, space station. Energy low. Oh, really? Right now? Right now? My energy has to be low when I'm trying to get something done. Really? And then we have, obviously, we have our communications array, our low and high gain antennas with our spectrograph array. And it makes uh, really easy to see if we even want to head towards an asteroid. Saves a lot of time. And we have our engineering section, or should, this is the jump drive section. Some batteries, some jump drives. We have our ice storage module here. There's a whole bunch of medium cargo containers full of ice. Our main uh, <clears throat> in thrust we trust. And then our four large small grid reactors just to help us out when we uh, solar panels aren't lit. And then these connectors are just for decoration. I don't have a use for them. We have our weld station, 
which helps repair in ships. We have our decoy launcher, which, um, hmm, currently there is not a decoy on the launcher. We should fix that. And, um, I'm overall, right now, I'm happy with how it is. Now, see, that welded it right up. Sometimes, it barely welds before the timer stops. It all depends on the stimulation speed at the time. And before I forget, need to go into timer uh this one set up actions and then we need to add timer this one start that's the only drawback and you know what i'm okay with it i was freaking out before i i, I just wanted something simple but you know what i'll probably never use this and and that's a good thing that's a good thing. And then I have a little blueprint uh, station here where I can uh, project something, weld it up by hand a little bit, and then disconnect it and bring it over there to weld it up the rest of the way, which Energy is fine. Critical. Oh my goodness, we're about to die, guys. Oh no, we're going to die. All right. Um, <laughs> we have our production one module and our production two module. I had to double up one my refineries and assemblers because of all that freaking gold gold takes so long to refine and then yeah that's the rest has pretty much stayed the way it is let me uh let me get some energons and uh yeah all right i guess we should first start off by uh grabbing some stuff and putting it into our inventory let's see what we got here we want plate what kind of plate do we have i'm gonna take let's take 200 of you guys for right now let's uh we're gonna take 100 of you uh let's take 100 of you uh, six motors sure why not some more and uh, I'll take you guys oh we are full and you know what I have a feeling we need to adjust let's adjust this while we are building I uh, <clears throat> I kept it low to uh, save space uh, motors are 50 medical grids large tubes I need to small tubes or 50 let's put that up to 100 for right now um, that's not 100 but okay and everything else is all right all right so let's see uh, I've decided that this is going to be where it connects and everything else or little tiny holes everything else faces down all right so connector here would be flush so do I want a flush connector I feel like there needs to be spacing so let's add a conveyor frame here um wait what oh no 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 I must have from when I was doing the decoy video. All right, sorry about that, guys. No, I wasn't cheating. Don't cheat. I might bend the rules once in a while, but I don't cheat. What? Come on. I want steel tubes. Tube. We got all kinds of small steel tubes. All right, there we go. Now we can add a connector. Come on. All right, I'm happy with that. Gives us a little spacing. And the reason I want spacing is for um, thruster wash, obviously. We're gonna need a, another one of these, but obviously this way which obviously we can't build like that. 
So I need to come up with some connection points with merge blocks and uh hmm how should I do this? Did we you know what? Let me come up with a framing system so we can get this built and uh I'll be right back. Alright guys, kinda got some uh basic framing going on in here. Got our connector. I have I'm using the old school merge blocks right there and there. And I think this is a uh I think this is a good base to start. And then I guess up here could be um a garage. Yeah. I think maybe this will be the garage. I thought about putting hydrogen storage tank up here the garage in the middle but then it had to be have side doors and I'm not sure how big it would have to be I think this the shape of this is gonna have to be kind of like a um a pill shape but flat and on the top and bottom if that makes sense and I would like to use these new these new blocks I haven't really used these yet in anything other than just playing around so I would like to use these now I'm thinking the control seat the hab area all that is going to be back here and the reason for that is it moves the control point the pivot point of the ship so it'll be back here instead of up here where I have this giant tail swing so that's the reason behind that. Obviously, we're going to have to eliminate this stuff. Um, I should detach this and use the build pads and all that fun stuff, but I think, I think I'm going to leave that intact and just build, just build off of this. And how wide should I make it? Should I go? another two wide and then worry about curving the sides that way I give myself plenty of room to work with I think that is a good idea guys we're gonna go up this armor for this so let's uh let's lay this out
All right, we are back, or I'm back, I should say. Had me a lonely waffle that was in the freezer with uh, one chicken egg there. And uh, yeah, hit the spot. That should hold us over for a little while. I, uh, I welded all this up. I added in three batteries down below up with our uh, center of mass. And I normally don't build um, non-symmetrical uh, ships and whatnot, but I've been seeing a lot of really good non-symmetrical builds. You know what? I'm thinking if this side is going to be a hallway and I need to keep, I'm going to try to keep the profile down on this ship. Let's put the thrusters on one side. Two nice big down thrusters to deal with um, atmosphere. <clears throat> and then these will be on their own toggle. So these won't be on all the time. I'll have those turned off. And then everything else should be um, small hydrogen thrusters, I believe. Now the question is, should I put ions on this? Should I put some down facing atmosphere? It's like right here. That would be a good spot for that. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. We're, 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 we're faking it until we make it, right? That's what we're doing. Faking it until we make it. All right. Um, I guess the best thing to lay out right now would be the back here and how, how that's going to be set up because we want to finish this, mostly finish this. And then this, it's okay if we don't finish this part because this is going to be our Rover hanger, maybe. I don't know. I need to look at the available blueprints that were provided by the scenario to uh, to see what will uh, what will go in here. Actually, are they in here? Um, uh, intergalactic welders. Uh, there's no pictures for the blueprints. Crap! 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 So we have a. A rescue rover, a lunar scout too, and a ATV survivor. Oh, do we, do we, do we guys? Do we, do we? Arrgh. I don't want to spoil it. Well, you know what? No, because I've already seen them once and they're on the workshop. So, you know what? Let's, let's have a look. Let's just have a quick look. Intergalactic welders. This is a ATV. Oh, it's a cute little thing, isn't it? All right. Um. Hmm. Sue. So, Sue. So, that's doable. That that that'll work. That's doable. I can build around that. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, we're not we're not far off, guys. We are not far off. But let's let's uh, intergalactic welders, intergalactic. Inter All right, yeah, yeah. Let's let's. It's gonna be bigger. No, that's about the. Oh wow, that kind of reminds me of uh, my Elite Dangerous rover. Hmm. All right, let's try the other one. And rescue rover. Oh, that's a chungus. That is a chungus right there. Yikes. Um. <laughs> okay, you know what? We are. We are. Um. Okay, you know what? Yeah, that's that's going to require a whole new plan. That is definitely going to require a whole new plan. We'll uh. We'll figure out that plan when we get to that part of the journey. So we'll build a garage here to hold at least the two small rovers that we know of. And, uh, all right. Hmm. Am I going to need more thrust? Well, you know what they say in thrust, we trust. So we could always Jebediah this shit up. More boosters. Can't go wrong with more boosters. All right, um, 
time wise I, I i don't know where we are time wise right now for this episode i know i have three or four recordings that are about five six minutes long some of them are going to be time lapses uh i guess the smart thing for me to do would be to stop playing and get those edited up and see where i'm at so uh, i want to keep playing all right guys it's time to wrap this episode up we're obviously going to have to finish this another day the uh, Hablander. It is two o'clock in the afternoon. It is sunny and 60 out. I need to uh, engineer my truck outside, my Ford. Muffler's falling off, so I need to get that handled. And uh, this will obviously be finished in a another episode. So until then, this is Uncle Jay. Fly safe, commanders. Have a good one.